Hi, this is David Atkinson with City National Foreign Exchange, and this is Global Perspectives. We've just come through a season of four major central bank policy meetings, so it's a good time to stop and take stock of monetary policy around the world. And this go around, we're actually talking about an aspect we haven't talked about in a long time, which is inflation. You know, since 2008, inflation was always one of those issues that was going to be out into the future. But now, all of a sudden, it seems like it's really actually here. Uh, as a broad brush measure for most major central banks around the world, uh, roughly 2% core CPI is going to be their measure of inflation. Uh, for the U.S., uh, that actually has been reached. The Fed made that clear last week. And along with full employment, it feels like its dual mandate is really being fulfilled. So the U.S. Fed, of course, is really in full tightening mode. But that's in stark contrast, really, to the rest of the world. The Bank of England is approaching its 2% target, but has already said it might actually let that go over a little bit because there are so many uncertainties surrounding Brexit in particular. For the European Central Bank, uh, it's also getting closer and closer to its inflation target, but with a lot of low growth and uncertainties around the world, it is not going to be in any kind of tightening mode anytime soon. And then there's the Bank of Japan, which is nowhere near its inflation target. And frankly, it's going to be awash in easy money for a long time. It all leads me to my view, which is this is, in terms of central bank divergence, this is the starkest I have seen it in a long time. And we'll eventually get some clarity when it comes to developments in the political front and certainly fiscal policy. And we'll keep you informed as they happen. Thank you very much and have a great weekend.